Okay, here's problem 6-1b. Uh, this looks a little bit different in Wiley Plus, but it's the same idea. Um, I mean, the same problem, but just the way it's formatted, but that's how it always works when I do it in Excel. Anyway, so this is the Sun Company trying to determine the value of its ending inventory March 31st, 2014, the company's year end. The following transactions occurred, and the accountant asked your help in determining whether they should be recorded or not. So then it gives you a through F transactions, and then the instructions say for each of the above transactions, specify whether the item in question should be included in ending inventory, and if so, at what amount. For each item that is not included in ending inventory, indicate who owns it and what account, if any, should have been recorded in. So I'm just going to add another column called Notes. All right, so here we go, item A. On March 30th, Sun shipped to a customer goods costing $1,000. The goods were shipped FOB, that's freight on board, destination. And the receiving report indicates the customer received the goods on April 1st. So the question we're trying to answer here is, as of March 31st, was this part of our inventory? And so if it was FOB destination, that means it doesn't leave our inventory until the customer receives it. So as of March 31st, it was still ours, so it's going to be listed uh, on our inventory. So we're going to say included. And then the amount is the $1,000 that it's worth. And we don't need any notes because it said we only had to do notes if each item that is not included in any inventory indicate who owns it and what account, if any, should have been it should have been recorded in. All right. B. On March 28th, Wholesale Inc. shipped goods to Sun. So this is a supplier shipping goods to us now. Uh, FOB shipping point. The invoice price was $600 plus $20 for freight. The receiving report indicates the goods were received by Sun on April 2nd. So FOB shipping point means that as soon as they leave the shipping point of the supplier, they belong to us. So this was definitely part of our inventory starting March 28th when it was shipped. Um, remember, we record inventory plus any cost of getting it to us as part of the inventory cost. So we're going to say that this is included and it's worth the $600 plus the $20 freight, so $620 total uh, inventory on our books. C, Sun had $750 of consigned goods from Frederick, Inc. So remember, consignment means that a, instead of a, a traditional supplier uh, and, and buyer relationship, consignment means that we hold goods for someone else Often there are consignment stores that hold goods for others and sell them for others, but the store never actually takes ownership of the goods. So consigned goods are owned by Frederick, not by us, so we're going to say not included. And I believe the, the requirements in, um, in Wiley Plus so that we put a zero there if they don't belong to us. And then for our notes, we're going to say um, these belong to Frederick, Inc. All right, D. Sun had $380 of inventory at Stevens Variety on consignment from Sun. So if we have our inventory at somebody else's place on consignment, we still own it. Remember, consignment just means that someone else is holding it for you. So if you have consigned goods from somebody else, they still belong to that somebody else. In the case of C, we had consigned goods from Frederick, Inc. And so they still belong to Frederick. Uh, in Part D, someone else has our consigned goods, so those, still belo those belong to us. So we're going to include that, and they're worth $380. 
E, on March 29th, Sun ordered goods costing $640. The goods were shipped FOB destination. On March 31st, Sun received the goods on April 3rd. So these are FOB destination, meaning they remain the property of the seller until, they're reach, until they reach the destination. So these are still, they still belong to our supplier, not to us, as of March 31st. So this is going to be not included. And so the value on our inventory sheet is zero for that. And then the note as far as who it belongs to, let's see, it doesn't say, so it's able to say the seller. We'll say belongs. Belongs to the seller still. And F, customer returned goods to Sun on March 31st. Upon inspection, the goods were found to be undamaged and were accepted as returned goods. These goods originally cost $400 and Sun sold them for $640. So, if they return the goods to us on March 31st, they will be included as part of our inventory because we have them back. Um, and what we'll be doing here is these will actually be carried back on our books uh, as inventory at the cost. So the cost was $400. We might make a note here, even though this is included, just to make to clarify things. What we're going to do is we're going to we're going to add this back into our inventory and reduce our cost of goods sold uh, by four hundred dollars, and we're going to reduce our accounts receivable by six hundred and forty dollars, and reduce our revenue by six hundred and forty dollars. So that'd be the journal entry. I guess I won't put the note in, but that's just what would happen. So there you go. That was problem 6-1B. I think hopefully that this helps. And let me know if I can help you in any other way.